Hi, my name is Bill McKenna, and I'm a person that's been interviewed a few times on Gaia. And I guess, you know, I had a, an awakening back in around 2007 and ended up writing a book called The Only Lesson. And that kind of process led me to all kinds of new understandings and the invention of cognitive movement, which is a kind of modality that allows you to create emotional amnesia, craving amnesia, and lots of other things. Improve your life. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was the start of my journey. Oh gosh, I, I, that was my dream uh, to have a yacht, and I did. And uh, in the middle of the night, just south of Ensenada Mex in Mexico, I ran into basically an island that was not on the chart and uh, split the side of the yacht open, like kind of like the Titanic, except it was right at the waterline. And I ended up limping into shore and, and that was really the beginning of my awakening. It was kind of a crazy, crazy time. I would say that my biggest inspiration was some of my teachers. I, you know, they say when the student's ready, the master appears. And that happened to me multiple times. And I learned from these teachers, they really shortcutted things for me. So I got to understand because I could see it done. The person, you know, like for example, um, God rest his soul, Bert Goldman, who just passed just a month ago, and uh, he was an, a wonderful teacher of mine and friend. And uh, all these teachers kind of become my friends. But uh, I would say sh them showing me that you can manage the energy and you can, you can create positive change. That's right. Yeah, he was, uh, he was a monk that was working directly with Autobiography of a Yogi Guy. And uh, how did I find him? Well, uh, that story is I ended up, I was going to uh, a, a, a school, the Berkeley Psychic Institute, and then there was an offshoot of that that, that I, I had gone to and went through all the training and become an instructor. And I ended up with another person who was an instructor who ended up pulling me in and introducing me to Bert and and that was that that was that oh yeah so first episode uh, was uh, kind of the discovery that mind over matter that you me anybody can create a healing nearly instantly in another when we get into a certain frame of mind. And that frame of mind is, is simply to love and without any attachment to an outcome, no fear of an outcome, that sort of thing. And in seeing another person's perfection, they, they end up having this actually happen. It's like this, uh, I couldn't believe it. The very first one I did, I was like, that's crazy, that worked. And then the, you know, 31, 30 of them later, I was so excited, you know, nearly shaking about this ability and, and how to do it. Eventually, after hundreds and hundreds, you get more comfortable in doing it. But that's, a, I revealed that in that interview. And I love people to uh, watch that one because I love the stories that come back. There's nothing held back in that interview. They actually get to do it. You know, I show everybody, this is how you do it. The next interview was um, a, the discovery of what I call cogno movement. And in that interview, basically, I had discovered uh, how to utilize our body. So it was like, uh, the first one was mind over matter, and this was body over mind. And we could utilize our bodies in a certain way, which will uh, cause uh, an emotional amnesia, craving amnesia, better athletic performance, different things like that. So that's, those are what those, those two interviews are about. 
Oh my gosh. So it was so fun talking to Regina today. We, we talked about all the new advancements in Cogno movement. You know, we've, we, we've had so many things happen with Cogno movement, uh, so many advancements around your eyes and uh, your physical body and the location of a problem and being able to identify, identify a problem and quickly resolve it. Problems that you would think there's no possible way to get over. Uh, and you end up feeling depressed and loss of your energy and loss of your life, and grief, guilt, resentment, blame, all of those things. How to quickly get yourself done with that and move yourself to a higher level and keep yourself there. There's primarily when you go to a seminar, uh, read a new book, uh, uh, you get inspired, right? Uh, and you're up at a great level for a while and then you're uh, So what, we, what I talked about is how to make the level set this up so you don't end up going back down. Your new level is at a whole new level. You're no longer getting pulled down into all those negative emotions and feelings. Oh gosh. So this is this one. I'm going to give a very simple technique. And this simple technique is notice your body. So when you feel something, right? Whatever you're feeling, what happens is your body, let's say it's anger or a little bit of resentment, there's going to be a micro contraction in your neck, in your face. If you look at people's faces, you know, they have a crease here or they, you know, their jaw, whatever. When you're having a negative feeling, notice your body and then relax the part of the body that's tense. What'll end up happening is if you just, you can say, I'm not trying to change how I feel. I'm just trying to relax my body in the part that I notice is tense and watch what happens. Your feeling will go away. Your body participates in the feelings. Basically, when you're there, I don't want to feel this way, so what do I do? Right? Relax it. it. Yeah, I don't like what's happening, but I'm going to relax my face, and the emotion will move through you. It's so simple. This is one of my techniques from my Secrets of the Master seminar. I, te I teach a number of different techniques that you'll see a bunch of them on the other episodes, but this is one that's extremely practical. When somebody's talking to you, Notice, oh, I didn't like that. And notice, is it your shoulder that tenses up? Oh, just relax that. And the feeling goes away and you're not bothered anymore. Correct, yeah, we all, we're all ignoring it. Like, uh, you know, I don't wanna feel this way and I wanna be, you know, all up here in love and peace and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Your body's talking to you and, you know, we can't, be bifurcated, right? We have to pay attention to, you know, all those other things and integrate the survival, the relationship, and the personal power. So Dr. David Hawkins, uh, I, I love his work. I've read basically from the floor that many books of his and it really created a beautiful foundation for helping people to grow and change and to quickly move through those lower levels and even upper levels of, of consciousness or understanding. As a collective, uh, you know, Hawkins said that we were something like 85% of the, of the world is calculated to be below the level of 200. And, um, and that was counterbalanced by these people that were, you know, over a level of 500. I'm having uh, really interesting results, you know, having said this, uh, you know, I have a, what they call Cognoconscious Weekend. And it, when, when I have one of those, yeah, we work through the David Hawkins scale. And in that, people are seeing a 100 point jump in a weekend, which, which the average person moves about five points in a lifetime. Collectively, we're really in a transition time right now, and I'm very interested to see what happens. Mm -hmm.